Hello friends, welcome back to my channel where we learn dentistry in quick and easy way. Today we are going to discuss one more interesting topic that is pulpotomy uh, from pedodontics. It is very easy to learn and remember it. Also, it is a very important 9 mark question. So please watch my video till the end. Before getting started, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you will be receiving notifications as soon as I upload my new video. If you really find my video helpful, please drop a like and a motivative comment. It will really make my day. Without any further delay, let's get started with today's topic. Here in this video, we are going to discuss what is pulpotomy and pharmacrazole technique of pulpotomy. Pulpotomy is actually defined as the complete removal of coronal portion of the pulp followed by placement of a suitable dressing or medicament that will promote healing and preserve the vitality of the tooth. Uh, to start with the formoxazole pulpotomy, first of all, anesthetize the tooth and isolate it properly with a rubber dam. Remove all the carious tooth structure, including enamel, dentine, then de-roof the pulp chamber using slow speed round burr. You can see here in the picture, here is the round burr. You have to de-roof the pulp chamber. Then take a sharp spoon excavator to scoop out the coronal pulp. You can see in the second picture here, the total coronal portion of the pulp is removed. Then clean the pulp chamber with saline and remove all the debris. Using a cotton pellet, apply a diluted formocrazole solution. You can appreciate in the third picture, uh, formocrazole solution is applied to the pulp chamber for four minutes. Then after the four minutes, Check for fixation. The indication of fixation of formocrazole is uh, the cotton pellet which you have placed, it will turn to brown color as well as the pulp stump will also turn to brown color. Then you can place temporary filling that is zinc oxide eugenol cement. Then send the patient. In the second visit, you recall the patient after one week. If the patient is asymptomatic, remove the temporary restoration and you can go for the permanent restoration and place the stainless steel crown. In my previous video, I have shared steps for placement of stainless steel crown. If you did not follow my previous video, I will be sharing the link in the description. Hope my today's video was helpful. Here we come to an end of today's topic. If you want a video in my any particular topic, please mention it in comment box. And if you like my work, also comment it. It will really motivate me. Stay home, be safe, keep learning with dent learning. Let's meet a new day with a new topic. Bye-bye.